This is how I turned my laptop into a TV so I can play console games on it. Many of you guys have asked me how I did this under my YouTube short, so here we go. But first, why would somebody use their laptop or PC as a TV? Back then when I made that short, I didn't have the TV. Because I just don't need it, I don't watch TV, I don't play console games. But then I found my girlfriend's old Xbox 360, so I wanted to play some games with it. So I wanted to use my laptop somehow as a TV for that console, because the laptop has a screen and also speakers. My main PC only has headphones right now. But here's the problem. If I take the HDMI from the console and plug it straight into the laptop, it won't work. Many of you guys ask this why this wouldn't work under my YouTube short and my oversimplified answer would be that, for example, a laptop and a console are transmitter devices, meaning they send sound and picture through HDMI. A TV or a monitor are receiver devices, meaning they receive picture and sound signals through the camera. Cable. So if I take two transmitter devices like a laptop and a console, they will not work together. I can't use the laptop as a screen for the console that way. So this is how I solved this. You're gonna need a console or whatever you want to connect to your PC or laptop, a HDMI cable, the PC or a laptop, and this cheap capture card that you can find on Amazon. But make sure it's USB 3.0, not 2.0. Now this cheap capture card will do the job if you want to play retro games or old games and just story games in general. But if you want to play more competitively or you want to play higher resolution games, I would recommend getting the Elgato Cam Link. But this is way more expensive. My main goal was to play Red Dead 1. So for me, the cheap one is more than enough. You then need to download OBS Studio, which is free by the way, install it on your PC, then run it as administrator. Because sometimes it won't recognize the capture card. Take the HDMI cable from the console, plug it into the capture card and plug everything into the PC. Turn on the console, then create a new scene inside OBS, add a video capture device and select the capture card. After this you want to click advanced audio properties and here set the audio monitoring to monitor and output. This is actually necessary to hear the games through the laptop speakers. Make it full screen and you're done. And as you guys can see there isn't any significant delay. Obviously it's not perfect but again this is the cheap capture card. At this price point I can't complain. At the end of the day, it's cheaper than a TV. That's going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.